when Kyle approached me about this project, I was I was a bit skeptical. Honestly, I really had no idea how you know one could go about taking taking a picture and putting that into a, into a series of musical notes, which uh, you know I I can I, I can really relate to and things like that. And um, it was it was it was a little bit. I must say I must I, I expressed a, a little bit of a doubt at first, but when I got down and talked to them, it seemed like it's such an amazing idea. You know, if this could have the potential to succeed, then you know it would it would make so much of a difference to the blind and visually impaired community. Through this, we can make our own judgments because there's there's sound, there's music, which I think a lot of the people in the blind community can, can really attest to feeling a lot towards. The inspiration for acoustic art first came from a TED Talk by Bo Lotto. In this TED Talk, Bo Lotto introduced a piece of software where he gave a direct color to sound mapping. So an image would come in and then be produced as sound. We were first introduced to this project by a music major, Louis Piano. And we found this very interesting and thought we could take it one step further. So we decided to add on some more image analysis beyond just a direct color to sound mapping and combine that with the music theory of Louis Piano and out and out comes acoustic art. We feel that we can apply this not only to people with the condition synesthesia, but those who all but other people who have trouble experiencing music and art, such as those who are blind and might not be otherwise able to experience artwork. The problem presented by acoustic art is a very interesting one because we're taking two very abstract ideas, that of a visual art form such as just an image like a painting or something like that, and we're uh, mapping that to something that's also very abstract, which is music. Yeah, both these, uh, they're very abstract, they usually uh, don't like there are rules to painting and rules to music, but most of the time there's not really some algorithmic form that you can really use to make a good uh, piece of music or a good uh, piece of art. So we're taking two very abstract ideas and we're trying to figure out how to map one to the other, the image to music, which is really, uh, which is really, really exciting and as far as we know, a, a very novel idea. So how do we convert a image to a piece of music? Well, as we were devising the algorithms we we're gonna use for this translation, we noted that in both images and music, there are certain characteristics that have to do with the piece as a whole. For example, an image will have a certain color that's dominant over the others, or an image will be overall brighter or dimmer. Likewise, a piece of music will have a certain key that it's being played, it'll be played at a certain tempo, it'll be overall louder or softer. And then there's certain other characteristics that have to do with what's going on right at one specific spot. In an image, it's a matter of what is the color at one point in the image, for example. In a piece of music, it's what notes are playing right at this specific time. And so when we were creating our translation, we decided to map between those types of characteristics. So we use the overall characteristics of the image to determine the overall characteristics of the piece of music. And then we go through the image, break it into blocks, and go block by block, and for each block, we analyze it, determine a series of notes, and play it. So if you look at the image and if you listen to music, you can see it, spots in the image that correspond directly to certain points in the music, while at the same time, you can tell that the overall aspects of the image are apparent in the overall characteristics of the music as a whole. So when I first got a chance to experience this software um, through, through uh, testing, uh, I thought that there was there was no cooler thing it was uh, such a profound moment that I could I could make my own calls on what I wanted to feel and how I wanted to interpret um, and so just uh, being in that moment was, was truly special <laughs>